So yeah, so I'm here today to talk to you about uh, the notion of going from print to interactive, which is sort of just a new way of saying print to web, right? Um, and more specifically, we've got the word roadmap in there. And actually when we sort of charted this uh, presentation out and we planned what it would be, the word roadmap, roadmap was actually picked uh, very strategically. It wasn't sort of accidental. And uh, one of the things I guess I've observed as we've talked about print to interactive or print to web over the years is that we've talked a lot about sort of the practicalities. Like here are my graphic design skills and here's what I can sort of mysteriously translate over to the, to the web world and like here's sort of these sort of transitional things I can do. But uh, it seemed to me that one of the things missing was sort of this big picture view. Like what is the industry like? Where is it that I'm heading? What's the job I'm gonna have? What's the job title that I potentially even want? And ultimately what does that actually look like? So that's sort of the uh, catalyst I guess for discovered a new button on my clicker. Um, that's the catalyst for this presentation. And so hopefully that's what we can accomplish today. So I hopefully want to give you the tools to sort of cast a vision for maybe where you could or um, should or however you want to phrase that go in the future. So it's not a movie. We're not going to have like a surprise ending. And I sort of wanted to cut to the chase really and just sort of establish the idea that print to web nowadays doesn't really mean what it used to mean. So go back five years ago and there's sort of a certain vision for what that meant and that's no longer what it means. It's like the definition has changed. We're gonna get more into that, but uh, essentially I wanted to sort of cast that idea out there so that you'd, I don't know, get the uh, sort of premise for where I'm really heading with this presentation. As usual, I should have used larger type. Huh? My apologies. So. I guess to that point, I will say the entire presentation is actually going to go up on my blog here, I guess hopefully while I'm speaking, but um, I actually scheduled it to go out. So at the end I'll have a link to actually view that presentation. So if there are any URLs or certain things that you can't quite read, that will be available. So anyway, in terms of an agenda, I want to look at sort of the underlying problem that we're kind of currently facing. I want to look at an industry overview. I want to talk about the something uh, known as a user-centered design process, which is essentially going to be a roadmap for where we're going to head. And then uh, we'll look at end goals, what are the jobs, and then ultimately, what are the skills that we might think about in terms of how to build towards those jobs. So I will say, in terms of sort of researching this presentation, this is a topic I've actually been really excited about and passionate about for a long time. But I also understand that I have a certain scope of uh, influence, or not influence, but a, a sphere I operate in. And so I've worked really, really hard to step outside of that, to talk to people in much larger organizations, people that do the actual recruiting and hiring, looking at uh, just gobs and gobs of job posts to see what are the actual things that people are recruiting for. Because we can talk about ideas for what we might want, but when we look at actual jobs, I think there's sort of, there's a proof in uh, the pudding, so to speak, that just like this is what you actually need to know. This is what they will pay you to do. And so how can we get there? So I say that just because I understand that I have my own sort of limitations and I've worked really hard to step outside of that. A Little more information about me. I don't wanna dwell on it too much. The biggest thing I wanna point out is that I do come from a technology standpoint, like a technology background, and I embrace design later on in my career. Interestingly, I actually this fall will start teaching in a university in a graphic design program that traditionally has been more of a, essentially a print program. They've tried to latch on the interactive stuff. So I'm joining two full-time designers that teach graphic design exactly like many of you probably went to school for, but they've brought me in to sort of uh, retrofit, if you will, uh, interactive components into that. So as we're not changing it to an interactive program, we're doing a essentially what we would consider a modern graphic design program that includes interactive elements. So again, the notion of going from print to web is kind of near and dear to my heart. So to begin, I really just want to paint the picture for the underlying problem. This is kind of a messy slide originally, so my PowerPoint won't work up here. That's what I get for being a Windows guy. Um, the fonts won't load, so I'm using a PDF. So on the left, we have a job post with the job title of graphic designer. And so I pulled this job out because it's interesting. It's a graphic design job, right? And I highlighted a few elements here, like strong graphic and typographic skills, proficiency 
in Adobe Creative Suite. DFA and graphic design, these are all things that are, you guys are more than qualified for, right? Three plus years experience, knowing many of you probably wouldn't even apply for this because you've probably been doing design for so long. Then we get down to the part where it talks about, hmm, your work can range from UI slash UX design to social media, mobile ads, and so on. Even more so, at the end there, we see front end skills to translate design into HTML and CSS. It's so like at what point did a designer, a graphic designer, like magically make this switch and now we're required to do these things. In fact, that little phrase, UI, UX design, actually carries with it I mean, they may as well say you should be an accountant as well, or an architect. Like, that's not just like a nice little buzzword that they can like sneak in on you. It's like an entire career. People go to school to learn to do that. People build entire careers out of being a UI UX person. So it's kind of a big, uh, it's kind of a big line item to sort of sneak in there. And this is a fun list. It's just a bunch of job uh, titles from that job board. So I thought it was interesting to go to the designer category. They're all sort of designer rooted, which is great, which means they're attainable. It means they have a foundation and things that we already know. But we see things like UI UX designer, interactive story designer, web designer, experience designer, and so on. So all kinds of strange jobs that uh, we may or may not want to be qualified for. But ultimately, these are kind of the targets, I think. When I talk about print to interactive, if you make that transition, these would be the kind of jobs that you'd be going for.